Good morning! Excuse my face right now. I know I have these three pimples, but it's because I got a facial a day before the Curology event and everything was just coming out. And I actually felt horrible going to the Curology event with like my skin like this because in my videos it looks super clear, but it's because I got a facial and this will happen sometimes. But using Curology really just helps make my skin just come back to normal faster. Anyways, I just made me a smoothie. It's so funny because I'm literally editing my vlog for this week. I show you guys how I make this recipe and as I'm watching it, my mouth was drooling and I wanted it again. So I had to take a break and make me a smoothie. Also, how cute are these little mason jar tops with straws? Um, Whaley and I got them from Target. They fit onto any mason jar, which is great. So like if I go to Starbucks or I want to get coffee somewhere, I can just take my reusable containers, which is really nice. Girl. Have you tried this yet? Please let me know if you guys try this. <sighs> I swear I should open a smoothie shop. <laughs> mm. Also, as I was making the smoothies, I chopped up my bananas into halves because I like to use them in my smoothie in halves. I don't like to use the whole thing like I talked about. I totally keep them out. It's just that these ones were going black really fast. So I just wanted to freeze them so that they don't go bad. And when you do that step, it just takes away an extra step of like opening the mana and all of that. So you can make the smoothie pretty darn fast. Whenever I cook or make anything, I have to like clean immediately. Are you guys like that? Or is that just me? Some people say I'm a little bit anal. Call it what you want, but I think it's just organized. <laughs> okay, cannot believe it is already October. Today is October 1st and time is just flying by. Um, but if you guys are not familiar, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So I partnered up with the Susan G. Komen Foundation to bring more light about this. Their foundation is committed to saving lives and they're going to do that by finding breakthroughs for breast cancer and making sure that people receive the help that they need. I just wanna share some facts about breast cancer with you guys because when I saw this, I was just shattered like seeing the number is is just crazy so more than 41,000 people die from breast cancer each year and 113 people lose their life each day in the u.s more than 250,000 men and women will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year so the susan g komen foundation is all about just fighting back and believing that breast cancer is just unacceptable, which is why they're committed to saving lives by 50% by 2026, which is a huge goal, but I feel like if we all come together and support in any way that we can, we could help them achieve that goal. I personally never dealt with someone having breast cancer, but I've had friends who whether it was one of their family members or parents, they were dealing with that. Um, and as you guys know, my grandpa had cancer. It wasn't breast cancer, but either way, it's just insane how many people lose their lives every single day and, and it just shatters me. So if you guys just have a second to click the link in the description box to see how you can help today, whether it's a donation or uh, joining one of their races or just going to one of their events, anything is helpful and they could use your support. So please check out Susan G. Coleman's website and see how you can get involved today. Uh, thank you guys for taking the time out to listen to this and I hope you guys can uh, check it out. Welcome back. Well, I'm home! You. <laughs> I'm home, baby! <laughs> <Jenny. laughs> Alright, we're gonna give Jen her belated birthday gift. Okay. This is from Sophie and I. Yes. Wow. You're gonna love it hard first. You don't, you don't have to read it out loud if you want to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Long. We'll just take your time. Who wrote this? Look at this pen and yes. Whaley. Yes, I'm <laughs> with, your, with a little micro Are you pen. Doubting me? I'm just saying. Get this looks like a pen Whaley would use. <laughs> it is. 
some bullet journal. Did you did you stencil this out as well? Oh did no, no, know? no. Freehand? No, no. Freehand <laughs> professional, you know. Oh. <laughs> you are my best friend. Oh my god. This is a nice card. Thank you. Lilies, you're my best friend. <gasps> cards. Oh, I love long cards. Like, why are you gonna buy a card? You're just gonna write happy birthday. Yeah. Like, like that's what it says on the True. card already. So I mean, True. if you buy a card, like write something really. <laughs> cool. Like this is freaking nice. These are the cards that I enjoy. This is this is what I freaking love. Guys. I don't need this gift. Shut up. Card was enough. Wait, what is? Oh, what is? Oh, what is? Oh, what? Oh, oh. One from Whaley, one from me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. oh. Oh, and this. So back. <laughs> what is this? So remember how we talked about back acne? Oh my god! I've been using this and it has cleared my back. Dude, my back is out of control oh right now. <laughs> you will love this. Dude, this is amazing. Thank you. Okay. Oh! Oh! We are at the doctor's. Silas is not feeling well, so gotta get a checkup. Mm -hmm. Sick child. I almost ran over this dog. <coughs> we literally parked and now we found him. He's so sweet. We need to take him back to his owner. He literally went under my bumper. I almost had a heart attack. Aww. Yeah, I almost killed him. Huh. Her. Okay, it's a she. <laughs> You guys, I almost hit this husky and we drove away because I was in so much shock and then we decided to turn back and we found her in a parking lot. None of the people there knew whose dog it was and we brought her home and she's in our backyard right now. Whaley's on her way over. I'm freaking out. Like I literally, I literally almost killed her. She just ran towards my car and I brake so hard and it was a busy street. Look at her. Look at her. She loves Silas. She's the sweetest baby. I'm gonna make her some food now. We just gave her some water and she brushed that water. She doesn't have a, a dog tag. So we're hoping that she may be micro-tripped and we'll just have to figure out what we're gonna do. Oily's on our way over to help us out. So this is giving her a little brush right now. Checking for fleas. I mean, she's not the cleanest right now, but her nail, her toenails are cut. And I mean, she does have a collar on even though there's no name tag. Oh, I know, baby. Okay. She's How long has she been out? Should I give her some more? Yeah, she can eat quadruple. <laughs> True. <laughs> okay, baby, I'll make you some more, okay? two bowls of food. Oh, are you hungry? And baby? she was thirsty. Oh my goodness, how long have you been lost? Oh, no. I'm keeping her. I know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to the vet. Me and Silas uh, came up with a name for her for now. We call her Blue. Oh, oh Blue. Ooh. Yes, because her eyes. Yeah. Hey, Blue. Hey, Blue. Hey, Blue. Oh, you would love this part, Blue. I know. Actually, I don't know, because you snapped at Leo, so <laughs> we'll have to check the attitude. <laughs> She's so cute. I know, I want her. I know, me too. Your eyes are so cute. You're too sweet. I almost killed you. <laughs> Why did you do that? I would probably have nightmares about this forever if I ever did that. Thank God I found her. I know, thank 
because like no one else cared where she was no one cared and sometimes i feel like it's so unlikely that they'd be this friendly you know? no i know i was worried like when silas was going up to her she loved it mm -hmm. she well it's also because she's a puppy yeah <laughs> loving this, this position like a human <laughs> hey girl I got this one. Hey. Can you go pee pee? You wanna go pee pee? Guess where we are. Oh my goodness. Oh. 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 oh, thank God you have like a Shiba so you don't have to handle this kind of fur. Yeah. <clears throat> wow, she's so dirty. Yeah. Who's still at our house? Blue. We call her Blue for now. We don't know what her name is. We called her Blue because of her blue eyes. But yeah, she's still here. I didn't vlog much yesterday um, because just every day so much has been happening. But right now I'm making something junchige for Robin and Silas because they're sick. I'm the only one not sick. I don't know how, because you guys know my immune system is really low. But I think because I got sick in Virginia, it's made me stronger. Um, but yeah, they both just ate breakfast. And Blue's a little skittish with Leo. And Leo's just scared of her, so. The ting dong jige is almost done. I didn't have a lot of ingredients like potato and, well actually, mainly just potato, um, but it's okay. I still did squash and onions, um, a little bit of serrano pepper, just for a little kick, and it tastes delicious. You guys almost had a heart attack. Robin is kind of like mediating them just being off the leash together and they started playing. And oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. But I was just so scared. Yeah. <sighs> All right, we are at the vet. Um, this baby girl's gonna get her vaccines today. All right, so they just weighed her and she is 39.9. So let's just say 40 pounds. That is crazy. I thought she was like 30, but man, she's not even full grown. She's still a puppy. There's a 40 pound dog just pulling us. It's in a year. Yeah. This is so clean. And her paws are pink. Wow. Very kind, friendly dog. So nice. She's yeah, a sweetheart. She's a good Look at my little baby. I don't know what this one is doing over here. We are having pasta tonight. Ooh. Mm. Oh, this is my kind of salad. Oh, heavy. Got some fresh Parmesan cheese.
Just don't punch him in the face. Just don't pause it. Give it up. I can't even stand this one. We are Some doing a family dinner night. We don't really need it. We didn't use a flashlight. There's Andy. And we brought like. Hi. Hi. So we decided on Kira for her name, but it's spelled Q I apostrophe R A. I still have not decided if I'm going to be keeping her or giving her up. Her owners did not claim her, so we're fostering her for now. Look at her. Hey. No. No. <laughs> what? She thinks it's a game. There's Leo. He's been adjusting to having a sibling. He's still a little spoiled brat. Tutorial. Today Robin is teaching Andy how to make beans sprout sprout soup. Beans sprout soup. And we're also having kale wraps with mushroom. babies. Kira is such a good girl. We have these pads out for her because she had a ton of accidents the very first night she stayed over, but it was only on Wednesday night. Since then, there hasn't been an accident in the house. She's been going pee and poo outside, which is amazing. But just to be safe, we like rolled up all our carpets, so there's no carpets out right now, but she's such a good girl. Hello everyone, it's the afternoon and I am wearing a turtleneck because I am currently sick. <laughs> Not really happy about that, but it was bound to happen because Robin and Silas were both sick. Right now, I'm just making my lunch, cracking this egg, it's a hard boiled egg. My sister made me a little salad before she left, so that's what I will be having. Put you guys up there. I feel like this week has just, or the week just started, <laughs> but I feel like um, since last Wednesday, it's just been a lot going on and I haven't been able to properly catch up with you guys. So I'm going to be doing that while I have my lunch. Today I'm using Trader Joe's Thousand Island dressing. Thousand Island is actually my favorite dressing. I don't know why. I think growing up my mom loved it so much. And then it also kind of reminds me of like the in and out secret sauce. So where do I begin? I feel like since I, Silas and I rescued uh, Kira, which we came up with a new name for her. We're gonna call her Kira. It's gonna be spelled Q-I apostrophe R-A. And it's stemmed from Akira, which we were gonna call her that first because it means intelligent but we wanted to make it like a two syllable name. So we decided to go with Kira and kind of switch up the spelling because I think it's prettier that way. But yeah, anyways, I feel like since we rescued her on Wednesday, it's just been a lot. Like I feel like I've, I have a newborn baby in my house, <laughs> even though she's not a puppy. Well, she kind of is. Robin and I took her to the vet and I wanted her to get all her shots. Um, because you can't really, I can't tell if she had them and it just seemed like she didn't. So we went ahead and got all her shots so that she can go to the park and play with other dogs and you know, even being around Leo just to be safe. Um, and we asked the vet if she was spayed and it's hard for them to tell but normally he says there's like a scar there but he couldn't see anything so we don't believe that she is spayed. Um, and the vet said that she is under a year old. So, with that being said, 
My life has revolved around taking care of her and providing for her. Um, she had a bunch of fleas on her. So the very first day, um, you guys saw in the vlog, uh, Whaley and I took her uh, to get a bath and Whaley like groomed her and it took forever, which I was super grateful for. But even with that, the fleas didn't fully go away. So I wanna put her on um, some flea medication, but she has had diarrhea since Wednesday. And now it's a bit more solid, but it's not fully solid. So I just don't wanna give her anything until her stomach is kind of like settled. But I definitely need, definitely need to give her the flea medication. Um, I got her Frontline, which is like the, the liquid stuff you put on her back. But I get a lot of mixed reviews about Frontline and I don't know how effective it is. I know for Leo it wasn't that effective. But yeah, then a few days later, uh, Robin and I decided to give her a flea bath outside, which was really fun because you, she just can, she can totally take a bath outside with like the hose because um, she won't get cold. Unlike Leo, I could never do that with him. <laughs> but yeah, that was really fun and we got a lot of like the fleas out and we just kind of let, we use a natural shampoo that has like peppermint, eucalyptus, tea tree oil, which are all natural like killers for fleas. And we let that shampoo sit for a bit and then we rinsed it off. So it's better, it's a lot better than when she first came here, but she still has a few, which like, ugh, it bothers me so much. I just, I really hate bugs. <laughs> Um, but nonetheless, that won't stop me from loving her. She's over here right now playing with her little toy. And then Leo's just watching her. Their dynamic has been so funny. Leo doesn't really like bigger dogs because he's intimidated by them. Um, and I've come to find out that she doesn't really, she's really scared of small dogs besides Leo. And I think it's because from the jump, like since we rescued her, she saw Leo. She did snap at him once and then for a few days we kept them separated. But my sister kind of like watched over them as they like met again and all she wanted to do was play with him. And <laughs> the only issue is like, even though she's a puppy, she's so much bigger than Leo. So when she's playing, she can get rough sometimes and he'll just get super snappy at her. But we've learned to like let him do that so she kind of knows her boundaries. Um, and she doesn't really like snap back. She, it's almost like she looks up to Leo and like he's her older brother now, her older little brother. <laughs> um, but yeah, they're, they're doing great now. Leo's just adjusting, but I, he definitely doesn't not like her. You know what I mean? I think it's just been a change for him to have another dog here and a bigger dog at that. A lot of you guys have been asking me on Instagram if I am going to be keeping her. And that's one of the biggest questions I have for myself. I've been going back and forth since Wednesday and I just haven't been able to decide and I don't need to know right now, but uh, it's just like I'm trying to weigh my options out because of course at this point I'm attached to her and I love her so much, but the responsibility of having a husky is just, it's a lot of work. She's very high maintenance. She's still considered a puppy. I mean, she won't fully develop until she's like two. She's already 40 pounds. I think she's gonna probably grow to like 50, who knows. They just need a lot of exercise. Like they are working dogs and they constantly need to be stimulated and get that exercise throughout the day. And that's how they, maintain a good behavior at home and um, they don't start acting up, you know? So yeah, it's, I took her hiking already, like on a five mile hike and she loved it. And you know, every second that me and Robin leave the house, we brought her with us because I, I just don't trust her in my home by herself. Cause I know she's a chewer cause she's tried to chew things, but we've caught her and so I don't know, it's just a lot to think about and I definitely feel like my life and my work has just been on hold for a few days and it's okay because like, you know, I've been trying to be consistent with my content and everything and like I'm kind of struggling right now because I don't have a video for this week and I wanted to film today but I'm not feeling well and like it's just really hard to try and film with 
Kira and Leo. So yeah, I don't know. I'm just figuring things out, but I am like super grateful that we, I didn't kill her and we ended up rescuing her and she's just been living such a good life. She is so smart. It just blows my mind. She definitely wasn't house trained or um, she didn't know how to use the bathroom outside. Like she would have accidents inside. I don't know why I'm just having a brain fart. Or potty trained, there you go. <laughs> the first night that we brought her, she like peed on my rug, had diarrhea in my house, peed like three, four more times. It was rough. Hey, be nice. So the first night she had so many accidents and then Silas like didn't sleep all night. He was kind of just training her to go outside. By the second day, no accidents. And since Wednesday, there's been no accidents. Like she knows how to go outside and it's it was just, it's really crazy. <laughs> and last night, uh, Andy, Robin and I had dinner at the house and then we took her to the park and we taught her how to play fetch. And she, we've tried, like Silas and I, since we've had her been trying to like throw a ball at the park and she doesn't really know what to do. But yesterday we just kind of like took our time, let her sniff it, make her get excited and like throw it. And then she'll grab it, grab the ball and run all the way back and I'll give her a treat. And she just continued, it was crazy. So yeah, she's just such a smart dog and I love her so much. I'm just, I don't know what to do yet, you guys. Tonight we are having taco night. We have- We had nothing in the fridge. I know, I don't even know how you whip this up. Because I didn't know any of this was in the fridge. There's veggie I guess then we have meat. Stuff in and this is a new thing. She did some potatoes, which I'm really excited about that. At first I didn't even know we had that and then, then we have, let's just make I know you tacos. you said initially let's just make potato tacos. Well, this is what we're having. I'm excited. Beautiful. It's only right whenever we do tacos, you gotta hear the crunch. Alright, well make sure you don't put your camera thing in your cooking sour cream thing. The savage. Mm -hmm. Good morning! It is October 10th and I just got dressed in some warm clothes so I don't get sick. It's getting a bit chillier here in LA. These babies are ready to go on a walk, so... Hey! Come on! Thought she was about to pee. But I should know better. She's pretty good with that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna take them out, come back and make some breakfast. I did not vlog yesterday because yesterday I filmed a day in my sister's life video because I was just sick and not feeling well this week. A lot of shit has been on my mind, to be quite honest. I've been going through some things, um, so I just wasn't like on to film another video, um, so I decided to film my sister and it's it was actually a lot of fun. I spent the whole day with her and I was fucking exhausted. So if you guys wanna see what I did yesterday, I'll add a card here or here. <laughs> so make sure you check it out because um, it, was, it was really funny. Anyways, I'm gonna take these babies out now. So we're at the park and she's just so scared of these dogs. It's okay, come on. Baby girl, let's go. You were running around last night. I know you got it in you. Oh my God. Go get it. Go Kara. Go Kara, go. Go, 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 go. Oh, you made friends. Back from the park. Making my baby's breakfast. We have freeze dried food for Leo. And Kira has some kibble. I'm using Akana right now, the puppy formula, because she's still about a year old. Um, I tried to give Kira this food the first night I had her, and she had like diarrhea, but she still kind of has diarrhea. So I don't think it was just from this food, it's just from what she's been eating since she's been on the street. Giving her some kibble, there's some probiotic in here and some pumpkin, because it's fibrous and it should help with her upset stomach. She's very excited. 
I have to separate them when I feed them because she gets a bit, you know, territorial about the food, which most dogs do. But um, Leo is waiting behind the gate. Yeah, I'm gonna feed them now. Kira, sit. Kira, sit. Sit. Good girl. That's a good girl. Okay, stay. Stay. Okay, go. Good girl. It only took me three days to teach her that. So proud of her. Okay. And now for my baby Leo. I'm coming. I know. It's your, it's your turn, baby. Okay. Sit, good boy. Okay. from the Shopify event. I had a really good time. Just fed the doggies. Uh, Kira was with Andy while I was at the event because I don't want to leave her at home yet because I know she'll probably tear up the house. Um, but Andy said she did so well and it's so crazy because it was my first time not being with her since I've had her and I actually like missed her. And it was only for like, I don't know, four hours. <laughs> But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you are not subscribed yet, subscribe right now. <laughs> um, and I believe that is it. I will see you guys very soon. I love you and thank you so much.